Hi, this is Grappy Mooster here. Today I'd like to share, um, well finally I just finished making the spool that I said I was going to make a few weeks back. I just had to wait for some more vintage um, doilies and, and more vintage uh, trims. So this is what I made um, it out of. I don't know if I showed it on my last video, but this is uh, the Christmas spools with the, those shiny ribbon things for the Christmas tree. This is what I used. Okay, and on the top part I used, um, this is a trim actually, and I just rolled it up into like a flower. This is a doily, and these doilies came in this trim. This is all um, uh, for you Marlene, okay, one, and I'll put all, this, uh, all the names on the description box because I used quite a few. Um, there's there's um, the paper bag lady, there's um, Zendra Lee, there's a little bit of Roseanne in here, a little bit of Lily, a little bit of Trisha from A Little Shabby Chic, uh, and a little bit of Natasha. So um, these are uh, things, trims that were gifted to me, and um, the the crochet, um, I don't know what you call this, it was probably a table runner or something from the paper, uh, the paper bag lady, which be they're all beautiful. So I just put them all together. And I finally finished it um, this morning. So I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, and this part here, this little flower here is, I, I believe this is from a wedding gown from Zendra Lee. She sent this to me. Um, this one here is from Marlene, and this is from the paper bag lady. And let me show you. Um, this is also from, uh, for you Marlene. And what I did was, this was a, a trim, and I just rolled it up in to make it into a flower. Um, behind here, there's a little tiny doily. Well, on top of this trim, there's a little doily, and that's from the paper bag lady. This is from, um, I think this is from Roseanne. It's so hard keeping um, things separated, so I, ju I just put everything together now. So I. I might mix up the names. I actually this is from all from Roseanne, Trisha, Zendali, Lily, Natasha, uh, Natasha, and um, the paper bag lady, and for you, Marlene. Okay, so it's just gonna be hard for me to mention what's what if I don't remember. Just forgive me. Okay, the trims, uh, the appliques here, and I don't know if you can see because I'm having problems with my lighting. And if I put it this way. It's too much, and if I put it this way, it's too little, so I might have to pick it up. So this way you can see a little bit better. Okay, this is an applique I put on here. Um, this applique here, it, um, it's a small uh, a small applique from my stash, and I use it throughout throughout the roll too. Um, another one from uh, for you, Marlene. Look how pretty. I didn't put it throughout the whole roll because you'll see why once I open it. Okay, this here is from For You Marlene and I use of course you know my flatback pearls for, from um, Sock Crafters. Okay, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put it down. I used a Velcro uh, to open and close because I didn't want to do the wrap um, with the trim so I, I used Velcro and I'm going to put it down so this way you could see. Okay. And it's, it's, it's going to be hard, I think, with this lighting. Okay, I used another doily there from the paper bag lady and from Sandra Lee. Okay, and I used, let me open it up this way, so this way you could see. And there's one of the pictures. Now this here is also from, I think, oh god, I don't remember, but it's from one of the ladies. I just, I just can't remember. Um, this here is another trim that I got from one of the ladies. Actually, they're all from the ladies. I just put it all together. Okay, I know that this flower is from Rosanna. Okay, and we have this one here. Um, little flat back pearls from my stash. More doilies. Okay, and this here, these little flowers here, the pink flower, if you could see it, let me bring it up. There you go. Okay, and another one here. 
This one here was a trim, um, some fabric that I had, and it looked like this. I'm going to show you. It's like I have a couple little tiny pieces left. It's beautiful. And I used uh, this also for a couple of other, my other projects. So what I did was I just cut um, this little piece here that looks almost, let me see, it looks like a leaf. Okay, oh, oh, it is a leaf. And I'm into small pieces and I just put it behind the other little flowers. Okay, let me just go this way. Because I want to show you the pictures too. See more doilies. Okay, and here's um, this is from my stash. A little butterfly. This is a Martha Stew butterfly. Oh, and this here is, I don't know if you can see it. I can bring it closer. Oh, this is so hard. I am so sorry, guys. This is a, a trim here from my stash. Very, very small, thin trim. Okay, let's go this way. Um, this is from my, my small appliques that I used to have. Another one of those little flowers. Here we go. Uh, trim from my my stash. Okay, another little applique from my stash. Another applique from my stash. But look how beautiful these pictures are. Okay, and it's basically I just use small little appliques, little flowers. I didn't want to take away from the pictures, but I didn't want it plain either. And, but I love, love, love this trim. And I want to say um, for Marlene, uh, for you Marlene, or the paper bag lady. But thank you, they're all beautiful. You can see here. Some more, this is from the paper bag lady. Black Bag Pros from the Sock Crafters. A butterfly that I just got from um, I think it was Crystal or D. Another applique from my stash. More doilies and some I put little pearls in between the doilies. And that's the last picture. Some more from my stash and that's the way it is. And let me show you, uh, I, there's one missing because I wanted to show you what I did. Okay, let me put this down. And I'll show it to you again. Okay. This is a filigree that I had. Okay, and I had four of them. So there's the last one. And what I did was, let me just bring it up. I just took it and I bent it this way. which I have to use. This, this is my last leg. Okay. And this is the way it came out. And then I used on the inside. See. I just threw a pearl inside. It's it the other way. There we go. And that's what I used for the feet the way it came out. And the paper that I used here, and I also used it on top, I don't know if you can see, there we go, see it, is the Hanline's Eye, that paper that I got from Sharon, which is the shop that just closed. This is the paper that I used, Hanline's Eye. In the Chic, that's what it's called. Okay. And on the back side, I left it all plain because if I fold it, and if I put appliques on here, I didn't want to ruin the pictures. So that's why I didn't put any appliques on this side. And this is my roll. I'm not going to roll it because I, I want to roll it up nice. Because it's going out. It's going out to my girlfriend. This is what I made for her. The one that gave me all these beautiful pictures. So let me show you again. It 
these are beautiful. This, that's the one I have the wedding gown from. If you didn't watch my other videos, it's on the video. I'm sorry for the shadowing. My lighting is wrong today. I don't know why. Probably because it's evening and I don't really do evening videos. Actually, it's like, what time is it? Look at that. 12.20 at night. Can you see? I think it came out so pretty. I know she'll like it too. I love the way it came out. I can't wait to, you know, finish the other one, the larger one. I'm rolling it long, but it's just for now, you guys, to see my finished project. And it's really easy to do on the back. I used uh, the muslin. And all this, here we go. See, I folded it wrong, but that's okay. Here we go. Here we go. And <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I don't sew, so all this was put together with the fabric tag. Every single piece on here, except for the feet and the top part here. I wanted to make sure this doesn't come off. This was used with the hot glue gun. But the feet with um, the E6000. And that's my little project that I just finished. I just gotta do the other foot and I'm done. And then it's going out. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching.